Perhaps you recall in a previous lesson, when we go into the properties of a storage group, there's really not much to be seen. We're provided a general tab, we're given the name of the storage group, some information about where the log path and system paths are located, and we can enable or disable circular logging. However, when we go into the mailbox database properties, you can see that there's quite a bit more that you can manage. If we right-click the mailbox and choose Properties, we're just going to take you on a quick walking tour of the three tabs here, the General, the Limits, and the Client Settings tab. And then in future lessons, we're going to go back through and discuss the various features here in these tabs. So to start with, the General tab provides basic information. It shows you when the last full backup and incremental backups were held journal recipient maintenance schedule. The limits tab has storage limits and deletion settings and the client settings here is where we would choose the default public folder database and the offline address book. So that's your one minute overview of the mailbox database properties. In future lessons we'll discuss the features a little bit more in depth. I hope you found this informative and I'll see you in the next lesson.